I've propped the centre board underneath. So now I'm just going to take the step off with these nuts and then I should be able to get to the winch and replace the winch wire. So the step's off and now I can see the winch. Clearly, yeah. and the winch wire, which is this, it's spindled around here, that looks like it needs or should be replaced. And there's a hatch at the top here where I think you can get access to right at the top of the wire. wire goes through there and out and you slide the new wire in up through and round doesn't look a terribly easy job okay, well, I'm going to release the tension and see what happens I'm winding the wire out as I wind up the winch. So I'm winding that down, releasing that and taking some more out. The new wire's in place and wrapped around the, the winch and this one's ready to go and be re-wrapped back on here as I lower the centre board. So it's packed with grease and just some more grease around here to make a seal and a bit more grease on the top here and then I think we're ready to put the step back. I will lower the centre board first, just to make sure that I have got it right. Winch is now all working. The wire is replaced. So sea biscuit is pretty much good to go. Changing the wire is actually not that difficult. So take courage, it only takes about 45 minutes. The important things I think are to chop the keel. Remember to cut the crimp on the wire so you can feed the old wire out uh, and then put the new wire in in reverse order. Video the winch in use so you know which way all the ropes and the wires run. Don't cross the new wire over itself. Use plenty of grease. And I used the Cornish Crabber replacement kit and it came really quickly. <laughs>